Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy. I've got a real short tutorial here for you today. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to move track automation with regions or choose not to move track automation with regions. So when you're working with automation and you need to maybe copy a region over to another section. So for example, I have this dark currents instrument here with some, I think it's the tremolo. Yeah, the tremolo depth knob is being automated. Now, if I wanted to just move these over, depending on what setting I have selected, the automation that's on that track may or may not move with the region. Now, if you're using region automation, the automation is always going to move with the region. But if you're using track automation, you have to make sure that you have the correct setting. So to find this, you're gonna go up to mix, go down to move track automation with regions, and there are three options, never, always, and ask. Let's start with never, just so I can show you what happens uh, when you don't have that option turned on. So if I hold option, duplicate this over where I want it to go, press A to show my automation, and sure enough, you can see that the automation was not copied over. However, if I go up to mix, move track automation, and select always, and then do that same thing, hold option and drag over. Now you'll see that that automation was moved over with the region. And you can also use this, you know, the opposite way. For example, maybe in this last section, I don't want the automation. Well, what I can do is delete that region. You can see that the automation goes with it. And then I can go up to mix, move track automation, select never, and then I can drag that over. And you can see this time it was not moved. Now, another thing you may want to do is just to copy the automation from one section over to another. You can do that too. You can do this with the marquee tool. So just select your marquee tool. I recommend bar snap for this and then just drag over the area that you want to copy. Press command C to copy and then select that same range somewhere else and hit command V to paste. And again, this will work whether the region is there or not. It will just copy over that track automation. Okay, so I'm in a new project here, and I just want to show you one more use case for this. So this is a mixed project where this vocal part didn't turn out too well. And so the singer went back and re-recorded the part and gave it a little bit of a different inflection. But on the original track in, in the mix, there's actually... Uh, two layers of automation here. I've got some pan automation and some volume automation, and I want to preserve that automation. Now, if I were to use the option to always move track automation, what's going to happen is when I delete that region, it's also going to mess up the automation. So we don't want that. So let's go ahead and turn that off. So we'll put this on never. Let's delete the region that's there. The automation stays and then I can just hold shift and move this up and keep it perfectly in place. And now that same automation is being applied to the new recording. So there you go. That's how you can choose to move or not move your track automation with your regions. And this will work with any region type. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. The Music Tech Help Guy YouTube channel is now 100% sponsor free. I don't do ad reads, paid reviews, or brand deals, which allows me to focus solely on making educational content that helps the indie music community. Subscribing, liking, and sharing really helps to build the platform in a way that's completely free. But if you'd like to directly support the cause, you can become a channel member to get early access to new videos and courses, or you can head over to my website, logicproguide.com, and purchase one of my courses. You'll be able to download the course completely ad-free, and they also come with demo projects so you can work along with the lessons. Thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.